Hello everybody, this is a Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the North American server. Congratulations to Colonel Ted and his ELC initial entry into the Hall of Fame. If you're from the NA server, you already know if you're from Europe or one of the other servers, you can see he's in the clan ELC, and that's because I think everybody in ELC clan drives the ELC, and they're all pretty good at it from what I've seen. And um, I've been waiting to watch this movie for a while since he submitted it because I know what his final stats are and it's just interesting, going to be interesting to see how he comes about getting them. We're in Malinovka encounter mode from the eastern spawn. This is an encounter mode. This is the much, much better side for us. For a scout because you have good initial spotting locations, you don't have quite as many choices and they aren't quite as productive from the opposite spawn. There's two artillery on the enemy team, three on his, two scouts apiece. Enemy team has a ton of mediums. Let's see, what do they have? Seven mediums, two heavies, and two TDs. His team, a lot of mediums as well, not quite as many. Five mediums, three heavies, and two TDs. So, enemy team has a few more mediums. His team has a couple more heavies. And it's all going to come down to, again, it's Malinovka, whose scouts play better. And then, which forces can grab that hill? Combine good scouting with control of the hill, and you're probably going to win an encounter match on this map. So he pulls way forward. Taking advantage of his good camo and small size. He can even shoot from up here without getting seen. Kill number one. His team has the Cromwell Bravo going down to the south, which is good because a lot of times teams totally ignore the south and end up getting flanked and having to scramble to react. Worked so good for him last time, he's coming back to try it again. Kill number two. Still hasn't been seen. This is definitely not a snapshot type of gun. When you move the <laughs> the limited movement that you have on it, it really makes decreases the accuracy of your shot, but sometimes they hit, so you gotta fire. Kill number three. Chinu looks like potential kill number four. <laughs> he's, he's set up, man. This gun can oh yeah, now not yep. Kill number four, it puts out a steady 200 to 250 points of damage per hit. Three thousand one took a shot at him, but he's going to lose um, visibility on Colonel Ted because he was using the spot from his teammate to locate him. With his teammate dead, Colonel Ted has concealment back. One is kind of sneaking up from behind, so he turns around. <laughs> Try to 
tracks and just damages his tracks. Skoda finally hits the guy. And there's kill number five. One thing you definitely do not want to do in an ELC is linger when you've been spotted. <laughs> you just don't have the hit points or the armor to, to handle taking many hits. So as soon as he realizes he's lit up, he skedaddles. If you try to sit there and say, well, three more seconds and I'm aimed in and can get a kill shot, you're going to die. You just can't stay once you've been seen. Kill number six. Despite that, they're still down to one tank. I can relate. I just played a game in El Halif where I got nine kills in my T-71 and lost because the rest of my team only managed to kill two tanks. Kill number seven. And now they're down two tanks. The more he kills, the farther behind he gets. I think he's off to kill the Artie and even up the battle. Maybe not. I think he was thinking about it. The Skoda, for some reason, is still looking off to the west. Well, you turned your gun the wrong way, guy. Bam! Kill number eight. And here comes the Cromwell B. That's an iffy kill on one shot. 254 hit points. You're right on the edge of what you're going to do. Hopefully the Skoda helps him out. He's counting on the medium, being able to see anything that might come down behind him. Yep, left just a couple hit points. Knew that was going to happen. But it doesn't matter because the Cromwell's going the wrong way. He's trying to come in and get him, misses his shot. Now he needs to get around the building and he's going to try to lead him back to the Skoda, I believe. Turn around, take a shot. Gets it. Kill number nine. It's an even fight now. He just barely got rotated enough to catch the very back of the tank, but that's all he needed. Medium gets the kill. He was hoping that Lee wouldn't get a cheap hit on him. Why the Lee was still sitting there is anybody's guess. Maybe he's, I don't know. Don't know if he was a bot or not. I, mean, I guess he was just sitting there waiting for somebody to come in and um, try to cap maybe. And let his artillery do their work, which isn't a bad idea, but... It should be pretty obvious to anybody that Colonel Ted isn't really interested in capping, he's interested in kills.
Just the two artillery to go. If he gets another kill, he gets a pools medal. Bam! There it is. Kill number 10. Can he get 11? M44 just shot at him, so there's a free kill out there if anybody finds him. There he is. And there's the battle. He doesn't quite get the kill, but he gets assisted damage on it, I think. Maybe not. Who got it? If the Skoda got it, he won't get assisted. For this battle, he did 2,249 damage, got 10 kills. 18 of 21 shooting, that's 86%. 2,359 assisted damage. He actually got more assisted damage than he did damage. He wasn't just shooting stuff. 10 spots. Earned 9,177 credits. He survived the fight was awarded 2,755 XP, got that big pools medal, scout, patrol duty, high caliber, and top gun, quite a collection, and added to that comes spotter, bruiser, duelist, fire for effect, mini medals, gives him a battle score of 2,905, sixth place on the ELC list, which is now full. In the future, to get into the AMX ELC BIS Hall of Fame, you need to meet the minimum XP requirements and beat at least the 25th place battle score. That's already updated on the website. So, because of his small size, he pulls all the way up here. He doesn't settle for this bush. He pulls farther up, and he started sniping up here. Back in here, and just... As they came over the hill, he just moved back and started shooting people coming down the hill. Eventually, moved down to here, played a little bit with a couple tanks down there before coming over to get the Artie. It's another battle where I'm going to say the same thing. Really nothing fancy there except for his duel with the Cromwell B, where he had to somehow get around the corner and spin his tank around in time to get a shot off on the Cromwell and he just barely managed to do that but aside from that that's that's finesse there aside from that everything he did was very straightforward pull up get spots shoot the few times he got spotted he moves right away gets concealment back and then continues his game basic stuff put together you watch the mini map you take advantage of the holes the enemy gives you and you play within the capabilities of your tank don't overdo it because when you overdo it you make mistakes and you put your tank in a situation from which it can't recover so you go home early he stayed till the end and he killed the whole way great battle from Malinovka in counter mode east spawn taking on the enemy team almost by himself and coming out the winner happy hunting